Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a monster of a report to share with you. This one specifically in regards to the economy, the Federal Reserve, and some speed bumps, if you will, that the Fed is going to hit hopefully really soon because we have to do something now in order to get this economy flipped around or we could be in dire trouble. Now on this report, I wanted to bring on a specialist who really knows his stuff. So I've got with me Colin Plume with Noble Gold investments.com. So are you with me over there, Colin? Yeah. Hey, Lisa. How you doing? Great to be here. Awesome. I'm doing good. I'm so glad you were able to come on. The last couple of times you came on, we had some amazing stuff uh, happening with the economy. But let's just delve right in. Um, I know I trust you guys as my gold source, my working with Bitcoin. As you can see, I've got tons of, of your gold products here. So if you guys aren't involved with Noble Gold, get involved. There's links below uh, and many great deals and stuff. But let's just get straight into the House resolution. What's going on? What is this House resolution and uh, when was it introduced and what does it do to the Fed and gold? Yeah, so H.R. 5404 uh, was uh, pushed out there by Congressman Mooney, Alexander Mooney from West Virginia. In essence, the, the bill is, is easy to read. Uh, if anyone uh, requests it from us, we'd be happy to send a link to it. And I'm sure you'll have some links in the, in the video also. But basically, he talks about fixing the dollar uh, back to gold uh, on a fixed weight exchange. And um, the issues that he brings up are issues that we've talked about, Lisa, many times, um, talking about inflation, talking about our debt and really bringing to light a lot of the facts that we've discussed in a number of different books, ebooks, and and just on this on this uh, video. Um, but one of the things that he talks about in detail is if the inflation rate is 2% every year, which is the government mandate, every 35 years we lose half the value of our money. So uh, if you're keeping money in a savings account or you're just looking at, at buying the day-to-day the -day goods that you need, um, every generation we're losing tremendous value and so going back on a gold standard fixing our dollars to gold uh, would eliminate that um, kind of market volatility and it would put put the hands of money in the people that should have it and that should be we shouldn't have this kind of uh, heavy inflationary period we shouldn't lose half our buying power uh, every 35 years and so putting us back in the gold standard would would eliminate that Okay, now I know I read some in this uh, article where it says, and I'm going to quote it exactly. Let me grab that piece. But it says, the gold standard puts control of the money supply with the market instead of the Federal Reserve. What kind of repercussions could we have with the Federal Reserve? Because everybody knows they're run by a bunch of foreigners, bunch of bankers. They care not about the American economy. All they want is money in their pocket. They want the control. We need to eliminate the Fed. Uh, and back it by a gold standard what is that going to do to the Fed are we looking at the death of the Fed well it, absolutely and, and I think when people hear the word the Fed they think that somehow the Fed is a branch of the government the, the Fed is not the Fed is independent the Fed is made up of the largest banks so really they do, they only have their best interests at heart and that's why they continue to devalue our currency and manipulate our currency and basically do whatever they want to help the banking system they don't they don't ha help the average american with what's being put out there so i think fixing us would eliminate their control um, it would make it more difficult for them to just print money because it would, our money would be tied to something fixed. The other thing it would do is it would put Congress in line because every year we talk about they can never balance the budget. The only reason they can get away with not balancing the budget is because the Fed just goes ahead and just prints more money. Well, once you tie our economy to gold, you'd have to fix the economy. We'd have to have a budget because we wouldn't be able to print and print and print. So it, it puts onus on the Fed. They would be in trouble. They wouldn't be able to dictate policy. And it also puts uh, a lot of pressure on our politicians to get our books in order and to, to pull us out of this tremendous debt. And, you know, a lot of subscribers have, have requested our Government Lies Exposed ebook. It was written by an economist, it wasn't written by us, written by John Williams from shadowstats.com. He went to Dartmouth, magna cum laude. He's been an economist for the last 50 years. And he says that our, our our debt actually is is over a hundred trillion. If you talk about you know debt, outstanding debt going forward, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, just money we owe for Treasury bonds and different things, and all over the world, 
So by putting us back on something fixed is is a better solution than what we're doing right now. Now, ultimately, is it the solution that will will win and will will work? Nobody knows. But I think having our getting our money line and getting us in a situation where we can't just print and print is really what uh, Alexander Mooney is trying to push forward. And I and I think it's something good. And I, and I think more people should be talking about. It. Absolutely. And um, I've, I've got the book here and there's a free ebook e e link below that I'll leave for you guys. Uh, but here's the other thing I want to say is, you know, it's a percentage of gold because a lot of people are like, well, we don't have enough gold to back the dollar, obviously. So that's why it's going to be based off a of percent, one one hundredth, one tenth, whatever the case may be, just to clarify for you guys out there. So what would that do to gold itself? Because you know, I'm a big gold investor. I encourage you guys convert your 401ks to a Roth IRA backed by gold. If something like this were to actually get through, I know uh, I'm very hopeful because we need something to turn the economy around. But what would that look like for people who own gold? Yeah, I mean, I think on the on the low side, I've seen reports. If we go back in the gold standard, gold would be at about six thousand an ounce. Uh, silver would obviously trail behind it, probably in the two to three hundred dollar range. Uh, which would be tremendous growth. What is it now? Uh, gold's in the 1300 range, so that would be uh, uh, quite a gain from where it is today. Uh, I've seen reports that it goes up to 10 or 15,000 if we go back on a gold standard. Uh, obviously, the 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 way the the world would look at gold if we went back on it, it was that it would actually be the currency that it's always been. You know, and there's a reason why gold has been a currency for 5,000 years because it's the easiest uh, currency to identify. It's it's a fungible item, which basically means that you can have you know big bars of gold or you can have small pieces of gold. So uh, every size is easy to trade and barter with. So is silver. That's why a lot of investors buy silver. And then you know it's something it's a it's something that holds its value because no matter how much gold mining there is in the world, the supply of gold only grows by one percent per year. And so there is really a limited supply of gold. Reports out there say there's anywhere from two to two and a half uh, Olympic sized swimming pools of gold in the whole world, which really is not that much. If you think about most of the gold in the world is sitting in central banks, it's owned by China, uh, Russia two months ago just bought 18 tons of gold. That gold's not going to come back on the market. So the, the gold that people are buying and selling every day is, is a really small amount. Most of the gold is sitting in central banks. So I, I think this bill, if it were passed, would uh, get the Fed in line, it would get Congress in line, we'd have to finally balance the budget, and uh, it would put a lot of uh, restraints on this you know, free spending that we've seen uh, with our politicians. Um, and, th and that's what I'm hopeful for. So contact your congressman, let him know about this uh, House resolution, and uh, you know, because this is something that I could see that would actually help the economy if it could go through, if it passes, if it gets the backing it needs. Uh, but one last article I want to talk about, I know you sent me one, and we'll just do this quickly, time for time, but uh, Bitcoin nipping at gold demand. This was a CNBC article. Uh, but uh, explain to me what that is and what effect that could have, because you guys deal with both Bitcoin, gold, and the economy, everything in a nutshell, but uh, just a quick summarization. Yeah, it's, it's a quick article. It just kind of talks about, you know, investors, are they buying Bitcoin? Are they buying gold? Are Bitcoin investors taking away from gold? What we're seeing is we're seeing investors that are buying gold as their insurance and safety investment. They're buying cryptos in their IRA because they see that the rise. Um, we actually, if you just watched the last few weeks, you know, Bitcoin has been skyrocketing. It was at 6,500. Now we're close to 9,000. Um, you know, the beauty behind doing it within an IRA with us, if you bought at 6,500, it hits nine or 10 or 11,000, you can always sell it, keep that money in the IRA tax deferred. Um, so if you haven't looked at cryptos and you're looking for something that's maybe has that ability to, to kind of skyrocket quickly, um, I think you can learn a lot from our guides. You can get a lot of good information if you're looking for that, that kind of investment. I think uh, cryptos are something that a lot of people should be looking at.
Awesome. So make sure you guys check out uh, all the links below. You guys can call them. They have a phone number. I'll put that on the screen uh, also below. But make sure you have, you know, your, your Roth IRA, gold, Bitcoin, something that you're investing in because there's a lot of changes that could come into the it could come into play, like Bitcoin, for example, already coming into play. Uh, the Federal Reserve, we have the gold, the gold standard, if you will, a, a version of it, I should say. But lots yeah. of things. Uh, to come into play so uh just leave the website information for us colin and uh, and uh, any any if any deals or specials you have going on yeah uh, noble gold investments are, are noble bitcoin and the two companies one is for precious metals one is for cryptos uh phone number is 877-646-5347 phone lines are open 24 hours um, we do have some specials if they mention Lisa Haven, if they're doing an IRA. Uh, for this month, we're actually going to waive the fees, uh, set up fees for any precious metals IRA. Uh, it's about a $450 savings. So if they call in, mention Lisa Haven, we can offer that. They start the paperwork this month uh, so we can get them started. So yeah, feel free to give them a call. Even if they just want free information, all the guides are free. And uh, we definitely recommend getting educated in the uh, alternative assets uh, field right now. Well, thanks again for tuning into my channel here. That was Colin Plume with Noble Gold Investments, and I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.